My Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your hosts, ACOS, the solutionist, and John Cremans, the doctor of shopology. Now, here's John and ACOS. All right, welcome back to My Cool Inventions. Glad to have you along today. John Cremans here, the doctor in, once again, as we celebrate American innovation and very cool ideas. And on today's show, we actually have an inventor who's going to be joining us by Skype. Um, actually, that invented a way to organize your silverware. Okay, now before anybody says, well, well wait, really, that's a problem. Have you ever tried to put you know, your silverware in a dishwasher, then try to put them back out and try to put them in their little nice, neat little thing that you bought to put it in the silverware drawer? It could take you a long time, right? My wife likes it, does a shortcut. Okay, and, and I know she's not listening. She's at, at the airport right now. So, so basically, what happens is she just grabs it out of the dishwasher and puts them in the thing. They're not self sorting, hun. <laughs> They're really not. It's one of the most aggravating things that happens. Well, we're going to have a, a way to solve that problem uh, with a, uh, a silverware clip. And it's actually a, the first ever an, an original silverware clip organizer. For in, yeah, and matter of fact, I've got a picture of it right there. So uh, uh, Nat Baruch is going to be joining us here in a few short moments on the show. And if you're watching our live stream today, we'd like to hear from you. If you think it's a good idea, uh, you have any questions for Nat or our inventor, by all means, uh, just uh, look, comment on the stream on Facebook. And then also remember to watch us on the Inventions and Gadgets channel, which you'll, you can find on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, Facebook Live, and, and YouTube Live. Joining us here on the show, uh, Nat Baruch. She's going to join us here with something that's going to help a lot of you that are disorganized in the, well, the kitchen, <laughs> especially when it comes to dishwashers as well. Hey, Nat, welcome to My Cool Inventions. Hi, how you doing, John? Good to see you. Yeah, fantastic. I was reading your, your website you know, a couple days ago, and I was looking at your story. Tell everybody that's listening right now why you created the invention we're featuring today. <laughs> Well, you see, my wife is a very organized person, and every time that I would try to help out around the house and put the dishes away in the dishwasher, i just throw the silverware in, as everybody does. You just throw it in there, and then when you go to put it away, it's a real pain. And she came to me, and she said, why can't you put the silverware in the right place? I didn't even know there was a right place. So I'm thinking, how can I remember that? Because, you know, it starts going after a while. So I said, i got to find a way to make it so that I can put them in the right place. Because happy wife, happy life, right? <laughs> so I said, I tried binder clips. I tried other stuff. And as you can see from the stuff I sent you, I went through like 50 prototypes. And it was uh, like a year of development. And finally, I came up with a clip that went on there for me. It was just for me personally. So I knew where to put the stuff. So she would say, oh. So when I put them on there, she was like, that's kind of a cool idea for you. And I said, but it'd be good for everybody. And as I started putting the dishes and the silverware away, and when she would empty the dishwasher, then she caught on. She said, this is a great idea. Thank you. I like the silverware clip. So everything's good. And uh, now we're in, we're manufactured and we're ready to bring it to market. So now, so now you sound like the kind of guy like my wife who likes to just to grab all the silverware and everything out of the dishwasher and kind of throw them in that, well, what's supposed to be an organizational tray and the forks yeah. go into the spoons. Yeah, yeah. I've lived that life. I'm, like, I'm much like your wife when it comes to that. And you put... I'm like, one holy cow. Away, and I'm like, I got, I got better things to do. <laughs> yeah, it's like Kelly. I mean, seriously, the fork looks like a fork. Anyway, I like, I think your, I think your idea's got merit. And I, and I know that there have probably been, if anybody's watching that's married, have been through that conversation with their, their significant other uh, and, and always trying to find the right silverware and everything. And I, look, I was looking at your pack that you have available online. And you have this, uh, the dirty clean magnet. That, my friend, is ingenious. Because I can't you tell like you how that. many times at my house I go into the you know into the into the washing machine a dishwasher and go okay are they clean or not and you can't tell <laughs> then you got to touch the plate you're like no I guess they're dirty <laughs> yeah no I like that so that's that's kind of a little cool add on uh, something that I that I noticed right away when I was when I was looking at it so how long have you been uh, since the beginning of your idea to to now how long has it taken to you to to come up with a silverware organizer tray. Uh, it's taken about two years to this point. Uh, the first year was mainly concept and development, and I did all the AutoCAD drawings, did all the marketing, did all the print material. I'm a one-man show, and probably because nobody wants to work with me. No, I don't think that's it. But <laughs> yeah. it's uh, I did it all myself, and it's been about uh, two years now, 
and um, finally got, I did a Kickstarter campaign and got the whole project funded through Kickstarter, which was great. Fantastic. And uh, got, got all the product made and manufactured with the molds, and uh, here we are. That is, you know, dude, that's fantastic, that. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty amazing. Well, here's what I want to do, because I want, I want to get the pitch out of the way. I want, to, I want to have everybody and give everybody a chance to vote on your success. Uh, here on our website, you just go to vote, uh, the vote tab, and vote there. Or you can vote. There's a link below us on our Facebook page. You can link uh, and actually vote as well. So, Nat, we're going to give you one minute to pitch it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, guys, are you ready in there, too? All right, let's do this. You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Hi, I'm Nat Barouche, and this is the original silverware organizer clip. The only way to sort your silverware as you load your dishwasher. There's nothing like it. Let me show you how it works. You simply place the easy-to-read color-coded silverware clips on your dishwasher's silverware basket. And as you load your dishes, as you load your silverware, you place the spoons in the spoons, the forks in the forks, exactly where they go. And then when the dishes are all clean, here's where the fun part comes. You grab all the knives, put them away. You grab all the forks, you put them away. You grab all the spoons and say, silverware, silver there. And it's just that easy, saving you time you never knew you were wasting. The average person wastes about 16 hours a year putting silverware clips away, or silverware away. Uh, so if you'd like to get yours, go to my website, silvereclip.com, and you get yours today for $4.99 plus free shipping. And because of today's a special day, I'm going to send you two. And John, I'm going to include the dishwasher magnet <laughs> that you love so much. So go to silvereclip.com and get yours today. People and submit your product. What the heck? I could only make millions. All right, I love this guy. I'm already giving my thumbs up, but you can give right. your thumbs, thumbs up, up just by going to our website at mycoolinventions.com. Uh, hit the vote tab or right down below our Facebook feed. If you're watching our live stream right now, you can actually vote down below as well. And then later on today, watch it on our Inventions and Gadgets channel on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Facebook Live, and, and YouTube Live. Net fantastic, dude. I, I like it. I mean, you gave me everything. And... and and I will tell you, you were, you were incredibly prepared. Uh, you had great B-roll, oh. which is the video that we were showing. You have great pictures. Uh, there's just great support materials. Even your website. I liked your website when I, when I took a look at it a couple days ago. There's a lot of things for us to work at here. All right. Well, I had fun doing that. And uh, I've done some green screen stuff. I actually put myself like on the Tonight Show set, uh, the Saturday Night Live set. Don't nice. know if the licensing was right for it, but I had fun doing that and entertains people too because it's all about having fun too. That's fantastic. Well, here's what I want to do. I'm going to, I'm going to keep you on the show for a couple of minutes more. I want to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to find out more about you. I want to find out about your inventive journey and if, you're, if your wife is supporting you with this. I, mean, I'm, I would imagine okay. she probably is happy with you now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I would think so too. So we'll take a quick break here on, on My Cool Inventions, and we come back, uh, Devil talking more about the Silverware Organizer clip with the inventor, uh, Nat Baruch here. And also, I want to find out what you think as well. So vote on our website, mycoolinventions.com. And remember, if you're a product owner or an inventor, submit your invention to My Cool Inventions. All right, we're back with My Cool Inventions. Glad to have you along today, whether you're traveling on the roadways of America, listening to our radio stations all across the country on our uh, My Cool Inventions syndicated radio stations. Some great guys and gals that run these stations, and certainly uh, they believe in the American innovator and the American innovative team, uh, and certainly all the guys and gals and product owners and inventors that come to our show daily here on My Cool Inventions. We have an inventor today, too, that's rather interesting. Uh, Nat Barouche joining us, and he has the, the silverware organizer clip. Before the break, he gave us his pitch. Nice pitch, by the way. All the great support materials that we could possibly ever want. So if you were watching our stream, or if you can later on, you're going to want to check it out on uh, in the Inventions and Gadgets channel, which you can find on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, uh, Android TV. I mean, we're everywhere. Uh, and basically, even here on our stream, if you have Facebook, just go to My Cool Inventions. Um, now, let's talk about this a little bit, because I mean, you've been doing this for a couple of years. You've had all different uh -huh. kinds of prototypes to come up with the, the idea. Tell me that, that process. What, what, were the, what were the good highlights? What were the pitfalls? If somebody were listening right now or watching the stream, what would they learn from you about uh, your inventive journey? All right. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, 
Well, when I first had the idea, I saw it in my head and tried to draw it out. And uh, I was like, okay. So I kept drawing different concepts. And I really couldn't tell if they would work. So I had to get myself a 3D printer. And then I said, uh, how do you use this thing? So I had to learn how to just do it, set it up. So once I got the 50 prototypes made with an all different versions and finally got it to, to fit, I went to, uh, to Lowe's and tried it on about 25 different dishwashers and modified it and got it to work. And I was totally happy with the design and said, okay, let's get this manufactured and checked around all of the United States to try to get it manufactured. And I just couldn't find a way to get it manufactured. And I didn't also have the funding to do it. So I said, let me do a Kickstarter campaign and uh, get it out there. And I put up on the Kickstarter campaign exactly what I needed to totally manufacture it all the way down to the final product. Because yeah. I said, I need to have this done and got that funded. And once I got the money, I said, all right, now i got to get it manufactured. So I had to go to China to get it manufactured, even though I really want to get it made in the United States. It just wasn't feasible at this point. And I found a good, honor, uh, honest manufacturer in China that wasn't going to steal my idea and manufacture it and got it to me and worked with me by sending about 10 different material compounds and different colors and so I could choose it. And it's, wow. just, it's a tough road when you're trying to design something and do the website and do the AutoCAD drawings and do the 3D printing. It's a tough road, but you got to keep up with your dream and follow your dream, and you'll yeah. get to where you want to be. And I'm finally on your show. This is great. <laughs> so how did, you, how did you do that? I mean, I'm looking at the clip here and looking at it, which is cool. I mean, it's 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 produced well. It's a, it's a nice it's a nice product. I mean, it's 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 stable. It doesn't feel cheap. I, I like the way this you know the way it looks and feels. That was kind of important to me. I was I was thinking maybe that's kind of where we're going to be really flexible. No, that's going to stay there. Once you clip that on your uh, your dishwasher, it's gonna it's gonna hang in there uh, hang in there perfectly. So you use Kickstarter. You're able to get the funds you needed to be able to produce this, manufacture it, uh, get it out in the marketplace. Do you have any sales yet? I do have. I have. I've sold a little under a thousand. Uh, some of them being Kickstarter supporters and through Facebook and my website, wow. I have sold some. That's that's your, that, that, you know, considering that's all that you've done so far. That's pretty. That's pretty amazing uh, when you think about and, it. That. I, yeah, right. And I'm trying to push it myself and uh, you know doing the ads on Facebook. I haven't done any of that yet, so I haven't done any heavy, heavy promoting. It's all been word yeah. of mouth. So well, you know, I'm, I'm looking uh, at this. Hopefully. Do you have it on Amazon too? I did have it on Amazon, and I had a buyer that was looking to put it in their store. They wanted to buy like 5,000 of them, and I had it on Amazon really cheap, and the shipping was high, and the buyer said, we can't compete with Amazon. And I said, but the shipping puts it over the cost you're going to sell. Yeah. So if you're going to put it on Amazon and you're going to try to pitch it to a store, you need to keep that in mind also. Yeah, yeah, because then, then at that point, you want to get your price point up, you know? Because I'm, I'm not sure what, mm -hmm. you, what, you, what it costs to make this, but I was, no, I was seeing on your website you have it at, what, 4.99. Um, you know, yes. if you're going to, if you're going to make, you know, several of these or, you know, selling a multi-pack, uh, for, for, uh, for people, I mean, then you might get up to nine ninety five. you know, you got to push that price point up. Right. And I would assume that you right. could probably put this in a, in a real, real simple mailer though. Yes, I do. I put it in just a padded envelope and it can go out with that. And the magnet, if you if you order today, you get the magnet. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silverworkclip.com. Did I mention that? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so what did you, um, yeah, I like that too. You always got to be closing, dude. So you did it. That's a good thing. Um, so with, with this, um, you know, what's what's shipping for this? What do you, what do you pay shipping wise? Uh, I'm doing free shipping for this show, but it's about uh, two dollars to ship. Yeah. Um, and so for this, I'm doing free shipping because I have a bulk plan that I can uh, ship these out to people. Hey, Tony, is that all right? I mean, uh, Tony does a lot of our, you know, our, our producer does a lot of the, the you know, the, the, a lot of the back end on shipping and, and looking at different things. Is that about what you would pay to, you know, to one of those little envelopes that we send out every once in a while? Yeah, that's about, that's about well, right. Two bucks, that's, right? That, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's good. That's a lot. Especially if you're offering free shipping and handling. That just kind of, not that just sucks right into your, uh, your profit margin, doesn't it? It's doing that right now, but I think the, the most important thing is to get these out there and get people talking about it and get yeah. some exposure. So um, even if I break even or pull a little bit ahead with this, I'm still doing better because they're already paid for. They're ready to go out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're, no, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. They're easy to put together. I mean, this is simple. Uh, you've got all, everything you need on the package, which I actually love. Uh, that's sometimes very, uh, very difficult. I suppose the magnet that you're giving away, uh, that just fits right in the envelope too, right? That slides right in there, and in case you didn't catch it, it says silverworkclip.com right on the magnet too. Yeah. So. Hey, so uh, who's uh, so whose idea was the magnet, dude? Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I think my wife should be here to take a lot of the credit for a lot of this stuff because yes, uh, she's she's always wanted to have something on a dishwasher to 
to, to make it uh, so you know if it's clean or dirty. See, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking. I mean, she she already knew you were really bad at organizing the the silverware, so she wanted to make sure you were washing the dishes too. That's a, this, right. So this, she knows about my memory. It's not as good as it used to be when I was a lot younger. That's for sure. This is this is this is very very good. I mean, so what was the you know, we always hear about the good, right? I mean, and, and anybody's going to tell you the good stories. Was there anything bad that happened to you when you were doing this? Anything that you could say, you know what? That's one of the that one of the little angles on my path of success that I would never do again. Um, I don't know about that. I, I did get discouraged a few times when um, I went to Bed Bath Beyond and a couple other places early on, and I, I was not prepared. I just, I actually just drove to Bed Bath Beyond corporate headquarters and walked in and said, I got something for you. And they were like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have an appointment? I'm like, yeah, sure. I got an appointment. They're like, no, you don't. So it didn't go over well the first time. Um, so I learned about uh, making, being prepared and making appointments. But I, I got discouraged because there was a lull when people were, they were commenting on it. I was sharing stuff and it was just not going anywhere. And I kind of said, well, maybe this isn't a great idea. And then I said, well, I think it's a good idea. And if you don't pursue your dreams, you're never going to know. So I'm going to see yeah. this through to the end and keep pursuing it. And you can ask everybody that follows me on Facebook yeah. and Twitter and all that stuff. They know how much I pound it uh, on the uh, social media. So they're like, okay, already. I hope you sell a million so you don't have to do so much advertising. This is but cool. I said, I'm not going to stop advertising. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, no, with your videos, you guys, show me the video again. I wanna, that, that video is amazing. Uh, you've got some great stuff on it. I mean, I think that people can understand it. They get to see it. I like the time lapse. <laughs> I, mean, when I was going, you know what? I mean, if, if you really thought about it, if you really thought about, you know, <laughs> and you made it humorous too, which I really love. Uh, but if you really thought about it, you do waste a lot of time doing it. I mean, that is a, it's just part of that. You know, most people just get the thing. And that's just part of their chore, right? That they can realize yeah. it's, it saves them a couple minutes. I mean, that's a couple more minutes, you know, that you can be around that you can do other things. Uh, yeah, a couple minutes a day. You add that up over the course of a year. You're talking to eight, ten hours in a year. Ten years, that's a whole work week right there that you've gained by putting your organized silverware away. Yeah, that's that's half our executive producer's life uh, left. I mean, you know, that, no, I, Alan, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. He's just, he's just like the world's oldest living fossil. But, I mean, the dude is good. He's watching the show today. So, yeah, definitely. Um, hey, Nat, I want to thank you. You've been a great guy. And I, I wish you all the success in the world. I love this uh, invention. I like the product. I like the way you've put it and put it, presented it. I really think you did your homework. Don't give up, okay? Um, I, I, I won't. I, 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 you keep pushing. I've got other inventors and friends uh, that are inventors that are doing the same thing. Don't ever give up. Just keep pushing away. And one day you're, you're just going to hit. Uh, so, I'm going to give you my thumbs up. And, folks, if you'd like to give Nat uh, your thumbs up as well, go to our website, mycoolinventions.com. That's mycoolinventions.com. There's a vote tab. You can vote there. You can actually see a little bit more about the invention as well. You can watch back the show from there, or you can watch it live. Inventions and Gadgets channel, uh, both on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Facebook Live, and YouTube Live. And if you want to be on this show for free, you've got to submit your product or invention. 